Station TV family. I want to thank you for watching another one of the encounters we caught on camera. This week, we will be discussing a topic that I believe is extremely important. Responsible firearm safety. Now, during this routine patrol, one of our security officers noticed a man who had fallen asleep behind the wheel of his vehicle while it was running in our front parking stalls. He knocked on the glass, shines his flashlight in the guy's eyes a couple times, and yells trying to wake this guy up but in the process he's going to notice a large semi-automatic rifle tucked in the seat beside the guy now instead of trying to continue and wake this guy up possibly startle him he's going to smartly play it safe and have the police come assist in waking this man up instead now ladies and gentlemen there are four basic firearm safety laws but today i'm proposing that we change it to the five rules of gun safety now the current four laws of gun safety are always treat a gun as if it were loaded, never point a gun at something you are not prepared to destroy, always know your target and what is beyond it, keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to fire, and then the new one I propose is never leave your gun unsecured, especially by falling asleep with a loaded gun on you at the gas station. These officers have arrived on scene and they're coming in hot with their weapons drawn. One's going to provide cover while the other one's going to yank him out of the vehicle until they can ask him what the hell is going on. Now while the police talk to the sleeping man from the vehicle, the security officer is going to wisely go grab that big old rifle from the vehicle. Now the officer did a great job. He's going to take that gun and leave it on the hood of the vehicle for a quick second. Now in our state, it's perfectly legal for a person to responsibly carry a gun in an open or a concealed fashion. So unless you're a felon, mentally ill, involved in some sort of domestic violence or stalking and you're not a drug user or a drunkard you're pretty much free to exercise your right to carry a firearm the initial suspicion was that this man was possibly under the influence because of the way he fell asleep where he fell asleep but the great news is here he actually just turned out to be a really hard-working guy who is just exhausted and this is actually just an accident but it can be used to teach a valuable lesson to others in the future never leave your firearms unsecured guys there's a lot of accidents out there that happen when guns are left unsecured and then people who do bad things get their hands on them or sometimes even tragic accidents when children get their hands on firearms so please lock them up. Now I have a question that I want to ask all the viewers out there is, do you own a firearm yourself? And if you do or don't, why not? And also, what would you have done if you were in this situation as well? Would you have acted the way they did or would you have just kind of tried to shake him and tap him on the shoulder? Always kind of interested to hear everyone's personal approach. 